Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my setup um, for gigs. Like this is what I use when I'm doing most of my harp gigs. Um, there are some gigs like weddings that they want you to have a pedal harp and certain sort of traditional gigs that they want a Celtic harp if you're going to be playing like Irish music, stuff like that. But um, a lot of gigs like nursing homes, um, etc. parties, they don't really pay much of attention much attention to the harp that you have so this is what I use for most gigs and the reason I do use this this is called a grand popsicle um, it has 33 strings levers on every string so it is sort of a full range it's a really good range harp um, and um, the best part about this harp is that it's only 11 pounds <clears throat> I actually, for a while, I didn't have a car, so this was really perfect. I would just sort of strap, I would put it in the case and put it around my shoulder, and it really wasn't that much bigger than, like, say, an acoustic guitar. Um, and another thing I want to show you with this harp, um, the bottom here, actually, you can hook, comes off and on. So if you look at the bottom, it has this little screw and there's this piece that you can either take with you or not. This will sort of give you height with the harp. Um, so that's another thing that I like. You can either take it or not take it, but that easily um, hooks on and off, so you could just carry the piece with you. Um, that way the harp will fit easily in a fairly small case. Um, so this is what I use for most gigs. and. and like I said, most people don't really notice that you're not playing a huge harp. Um, with the, without, without the stand, it's actually fairly small, but that little harp stand at the bottom gives it that extra height. So as you can see, you can easily take that off and on. And um, this harp is only 11 pounds, so it's very light. It looks a lot heavier than it is. Um, the only thing with this harp is it does require a small amp because as you can see the sounding board is very small um, which is what makes it so light and portable um, you can play it without the sounding board but it's just not if you're playing in public then you really want to have an amp hooked to it because it's just not big enough to give you that amplified sound so um, this is what I use when I go out on these gigs. Um, again, they recommend a 40 watt amp. If you're doing like a really sort of large gig and you really want the fullest sound possible, they recommend at least 40 watt. But I use this and it's worked just fine for me in all circumstances. So um, this is a Roland Mobile Cube. It's about, feels like two pounds, but this is sort of what I use to take with me. So between the harp and the amp, it's still a very, very light setup. Um, let me show you. There is a place right here where you hook in the harp to the amplifier, okay? And then it also comes with a little charger that you can um, hook the harp to the wall for like a minute to make sure that the little the um, connector inside is charged. I don't know if you can see from here, but. So that is essentially my setup. Um, for years before that, I used primarily a Celtic harp and that was about 26 pounds. It was a, I did it, it was a little ridiculous. I got a lot of comments um, as I was carrying my 26 pound Celtic harp to my gig a lot of time, but you know, I got used to it. But um, after years of doing that, I just decided to downsize. So I did a lot of research um, before I got this harp. Um, the reason I finally went with this one is when it's priced, it's about $1,800, which is significantly less than Celtic Carps. And also because it had that versatility where you could still play it without an amplifier. So it still has that kind of acoustic sound where a full electric harp doesn't have that same acoustic sound and it's a lot more expensive. Um, the only thing I do want to say, the levers. This is the only downside. I found the levers can come loose. Um, I do carry a small screwdriver with me in case these come loose so I can tighten them. Um, that's been the only thing with this harp that 
you know, I've sort of had to work around. But overall, it's been, it's been really, for me, it's been perfect. Um, since I've gotten this harp, I very rarely take my Celtic harp out. Unless, of course, it's like sort of like a traditional Irish party where they want like Irish music and the full-on Irish acoustic sound, then I, I still have that harp. But um, for the most part, this is what I use. Um, I also play out, I play out in the streets with it. I'm not recommending that by any means, but um, it's perfect for that <laughs> if that's something you want to do. Um, and between this harp and the amp, that's been um, pretty sufficient for me to do almost all my gigs. So for me, it's been, it's made my life a lot easier because it's been a lot easier to, um, you know, carry it with me. Um, so this is called the Grand Harpsicle. Um, Reese Harps makes it. You can buy it online. You can buy it through them at Reese Harps. You can go pretty much any online store. You can find it. Um, and um, that's what I recommend. If you have any questions or if any more <clears throat> questions about the harp in general, feel free to comment and I will do the best I can to answer them. Um, I've been playing almost 30 years, so quite a, you know, a little bit of experience with just like different harps and pretty much anything you could ask, feel free. And um, again, I hope you like this video and I will see you next time.